Welcome to the SciSense Bots tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at SciSense Bots and how you can analyze your data directly from third-party applications such as Skype or Facebook. Before we introduce you to Masturbato, the first thing you need to do is add SciSense Bots to your third-party application. You can get the link from our online documentation. In this tutorial, let's assume you want to analyze your data in Skype. I've already clicked the link in the documentation page, and the first thing I see is a button inviting me to add Botto to my contact list. So let's go ahead and add him. I will sign into my Skype here. The next thing I need to do after I've signed in is say hi to wake him up. If this is the first time you sign in, Botto will ask you to authenticate your account. If you don't have a Sysense account yet, click on Play with Botto and explore some sample dashboards we've created for you. Once you're ready, click on Authenticate to connect to your own data. When you authenticate, you need to add the URL of your SciSense account with the HTTP or HTTPS protocols included. Then you put in your SciSense credentials just like those you use when you log into your dashboards. Click Authenticate and Masturbato will begin returning insights. Click the basics for a quick introduction to Whispers. Whispers are Masturbato's method for returning data based on machine learning algorithms and smart queries. Now let's open our dashboard inside Skype. Masterpoto will give us a list of dashboards we can explore. Note, every time you use Botto, he learns your activity and organizes your dashboards and widgets based on the relevance. By clicking Explore, you can get some high-level data back from the indicator widgets in your dashboard. You can now dive deeper in your dashboard by getting a whisper from any of your widgets. So let's see what's happening with our weekly users. Masterbotto may take a second or two to return the widget as he's scanning all your data and performing a smart analysis. Once he's ready, he displays your widget inside your application and provides some insights in natural language. We can see the widget here. Now inside our application, we are currently located in the widget. If we want, we can dive deeper for more insights and see a list of all the filters applied to the widget. Keep in mind that as you dive deeper into your data, you can return back to the dashboard list by clicking Get, the dashboard's name, and then Dashboard. And this will return you to your dashboard you opened with all its widgets. From there, you can go back to the dashboard carousel we saw when we first started, or open another widget in the current dashboard. However, we want to play with some advanced options Botto offers. Botto will display a list of commands you can type. Let's get the widget we saw from our dashboard, Weekly Users. So let's type Get Weekly Users from Masturbato Dashboard. And here we go. We see the same widget we pulled from before. Now let's try another command here. We can analyze specific widgets to return insights like we saw before. So type analyze and the widget's name, in this case weekly users. Bravo gives us all the insights once again. Now let's get a list of our dashboards again. Type list my dashboards to see the dashboard carousel we saw in the beginning. We can see the dashboard carousel again. We can explore more dashboards or remove any from the list. Removing a dashboard just deletes it from the list here, not in SciSense. And if you delete a dashboard by mistake, you can always add it back. For more information about our bots, check out our online documentation. SciSense bots are currently in SciSense Labs being developed by the SciSense X team. As we are continually improving its performance and adding new abilities, we would love to get your feedback. Feel free to get in touch with us at ron.orn at scisense.com.